Oh, what's going on guys? Today is a, another fun day. We are doing more mods. This isn't really a mod. We're putting parts on the car. Way back when I got my coilovers, the guy gave me a screaming deal on these overaxle pipes that are from a GT500. They don't have the resonator. So I'm gonna get my good friend Nick at Pro Auto to install them today. Hopefully we won't have any issues because whenever I put the courses on, I went to the Oso place in Columbia. I'm not gonna say the name just because I don't wanna put them on blast. Yeah, they had to weld the passenger side. It also was partly because the car, the passenger side was messed up when I bought it. Didn't know that. These have the correct little whatever connection you call that with the clamps. Where's my other clamp? <coughs> yeah, Corona. Here we are. Hopefully, that's. Is that not it? Maybe this isn't it. I mean, this came off the muffler. Oh my goodness. But now it looks too small. So, you might be able to pull the other one off. Cool. I don't know where the V band is. Or whatever. Anyway. We'll take both of these. And just to be on the nice side, I'm gonna clean this out real quick. All right, I got a quick rough clean just grabbed all like the uh physical trash i still need to back in it but let's load these up who said a mustang isn't practical just so they don't come flying up in the case of an emergency. This is so close. I think it's hitting. It is not hitting, but... Huh. Who knows, maybe I got lucky. But let's go grab my driver. And we're here. Pro Auto. And there she is. Oh. So we're only taking back one over axle pipe because the other one was so pooched in the words of Robbie for whatever his name is they had to sawzall it off and then clean up the welds that's a little bit louder clean up the uh welds on the Corsa axle back so all good in the hood all right just uh revved it by a wall, that wall right in this driveway. Yeah, it's louder. It's a little raspier too. This will be fun. Okay, this is way louder. Uh, hopefully you don't hear all the wind, but uh, a lot louder without those resonators. So I'm, I'm rethinking this whole header thing. Maybe I don't need long tubes, you know? I don't want the loudest car. I don't, and I don't want it to sound like crap. But, yeah, that, that did a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, money well spent there. Oh, man, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait for a bridge or a tunnel or something to, uh... Open it up. I know... I know where I'll go. Hang on. Alright, we are going on to the highway. Hopefully... Uh, the wind won't be too much. Of course, the car gets in front of me. It's a lot more raspy, that's for sure. Uh, we're just gonna have to wait till the bridge. What do you get? All right. Uh, so I'm cruising at the speed limit. It's, no, it's actually the speed limit. And uh, I can't tell a difference. So cruising-wise, we're still good. You know, it's not droning or anything. It's not, not even that loud, really. I'm at like 2100 RPM. So, you know, that's good news. But man, <laughs> under acceleration, that thing just farts. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I don't know if I want headers now. I'm very hesitant to say the least. Now it could. I'm probably gonna go with an 
X bike for headers. So this whole axle dump boss setup could affect the uh, raspiness. I doubt it though, because it's an H pipe. But headers, X pipe, and a resonator delete, that's going to be pretty dang raspy. So I'll have to do some more thinking about that. I'll let y'all know for sure. Uh, I always do. All right, there's a couple bridges I uh, I have in mind. Uh, I'm gonna put you on the sticky pad. Hopefully, y'all won't fall away. But uh, oh, y'all fell away anyway. I was just gonna make a lap because there's a bridge up here. But I don't know any tunnels here, so we'll just have to wait on that. It's from the boss. So this is what was removed. I kind of showed it to you quickly there. Also, it's a couple days later. Cleaning out my car. Different outfit. Oh, dented. All right, as I was saying before I get in, got uh, interrupted by the camera dying. This is the passenger side. You can see this resonator. It's not that big looking but i guess there's a lot inside of it because it is a lot louder so I, I didn't think that little thing would change that much sound wise and then you got the uh, ends which that's fine and dandy there's some dents there's some dents here and like right there you know oh it's a lot heavier too than the uh ones we put on I guess because the resonator weighs so much or it's, I don't know. I don't know why, but it is. So we'll do something. I don't think it's worth anything. I might just keep it and buy one and then put them on when or if I sell the car. Just, you know, return it back to stock sell it. But that was just something I forgot to show you. So uh, this is gonna be very troublesome for me. I'm probably gonna get some type of trouble for it, but I also can't recommend Nick at Pro Auto and his crew. I don't know who works in the back, I just know Nick. So if you have anything, you're in the Columbia area, I mean, I drive 30 minutes to him because it's a lot better than who's near me. Like, hands down, Nick's the man. Like, he's helped me with my threads when I accidentally cross the one when I put them back on. Um, he could, like, make it the correct thread again somehow. I guess I didn't damage it too bad. He, fixed my welded on pipe from whenever he um he did something else for me oh he he put on my coilovers like he's the man he he doesn't charge too much in labor like cheaper than the dealership you know probably one of the cheapest people around columbia does his best work i can't recommend him enough um <laughs> and i know i don't show him on camera but he doesn't he doesn't like filming around or me to hang around the shop for insurance i get it i know I know how it is, I work at a shop, so um, if you enjoy what you see, make sure to subscribe and uh, stay updated, but if not, take care, see you on the next one.